Formula One teams aren't just racing at 200 miles an hour, they're also engineering at that speed too, and 3D printing is taking the charge. McLaren, who we've covered before, uses over 9,000 3D printed components on their car, a lot of which are actually in CF nylon, and they're using things for the aero and the diffuser, they're also using a lot of custom 3D printed components to cool down the car. If you've seen all those leaf blowers on the car in Parc Ferme and in the pit lane, those parts are 3D printed. Red Bull Racing's Honda power plant uses a titanium 3D printed turbocharger in the back, so it's a lot stronger and it has a lot of geometries that you just can't do with traditional manufacturing. Red Bull's sister team V-Carb actually uses 3D printed peak in their brake ducts and also under the engine cover, which you could print on our 22 IDEX back here. Alpine 3D prints hundreds of components weekly to test in their small scale models for wind tunnel testing to help further develop their back marker. And Ford, who's been preparing for next season's debut with Red Bull Racing, has been 3D printing thousands of components in metal and other thermoplastics and polymers to get ready for 2026's F1 regulations. The bottom line is, 3D printing is the new battleground for all the F1 teams to showcase their technical prowess. 